Okay, let's go. Mr. Gillen's texted you yesterday. So. Whoa. There you are. Okay, 3.3. Real zeros of polynomial functions. Okay, we're going to use long division to solve. Um, and then we'll use synthetic on Wednesday. We'll talk about synthetic. Then we'll talk about when they don't give you a zero and solving. This will just take time. It takes time. Period. Like why? Period. Okay. Period. So it is going to take oh you time. Oh my God. Else takes time. If you are doing long division, okay, use long division to divide. Remember when you were in elementary school and you had 300 or 3,412, and you divided it by 12, right? No. You can't take 12 into 3, but you can take 12 into 34. You've got to keep going and going and going, okay? And you might have a remainder, yes? If you have remainders in this case, we put it all over top of whatever we divided by. So in this case, we have 6x cubed minus 19x squared plus 16x minus 4, and we're dividing it by x minus 2. We need to first check this goes cubed squared x none, so we're good. We don't have to put any placeholders. Oh, wait, so you're dividing it by x minus 2? Yes. Okay. My bad. I was lost in the source. So I rewrite it. I divide it by x minus 2. Okay, now. Why don't you put the x minus 2 under it? You find that's what it Because this is long division. You have to do the long oh, division. Oh, dang, bro, that's tough. Okay, now, you want to ask yourself this. Can, this has two spots to it, right? X and minus 2. There's two places. So I cannot take this into 6x cubed. Because that's only one place. You can take it into 16x minus 4, though. Can you need something? <laughs> Just... <laughs> but I can take x minus 2 into 6x cubed minus 19x squared because there are two spots there. There are two spots here. Okay? This is what you need to ask yourself. You always focus on the first numbers. How do I get x to 6x cubed? We're not doing oh, this again. 6x oh, squared. 6x oh, squared. Oh, no. Oh, oh, 6x oh, oh, squared. Oh, 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 okay? 6x oh, squared times x is... 6x cubed. 6x squared times negative 2 is? Negative 12x squared. Negative 12x squared. Now, I said, how do I get x to 6x cubed? You, you multiply this by that to get that, and then you multiply this by the second portion to get that. Six, oh, six, that's what's up. Okay. Oh. That's what's because up. six times negative two is oh, negative So then do you subtract? Oh, I see, I see. Oh. So then you subtract. Yes, you okay. so then but you have to subtract with parentheses because that subtraction sign has to go into both of these parts. So six x cubed minus six x cubed gives me zero. zero. Negative seven nineteen x, x squared. Negative, negative seven x squared. Thank you, Tyler. Negative nineteen x squared <laughs> so minus negative twelve x squared gives me negative seven x squared. So we divide, we multiply, we subtract, we bring it on down. Oh yeah. And we bring it on back. All right, that's what's up. What about the minus four though? We're not, we're not doing that. Yet. Yet. Hey, I'm sorry. Why would you get for a chance? I'm trying to be attentive students. <laughs> How do you get x to negative 7x squared? Times 7x. Times negative 7x. Why does it have to be negative? Because you want it to equal that. What's negative 7x times x? Negative 7x squared. What's negative 7x times negative Plus 14x. Plus 14x. Now you have to subtract. 28. Oh, wow. Negative 7x. Minus negative 7x squared, cancel. 16x minus 14x squared. 2x. Oh, Bring it on down. Oh, that's how you say it. Bring it on back. Divide. How do you get x to 2x? Multiply. Subtract. Zero. Zero. Eight. Negative eight. No, that actually zero. comes up to zero. Negative four. Zero, zero, zero. zero. Oh, I'm tweaking. My bad. So this is our answer. Six X squared minus seven X plus two. Yeah. I say yes or no. Hey, that was. Hey, back table. Focus. Wait, stop talking and focus. No, you cannot do this on your calculator. It's not possible. They don't know what X doesn't Yeah, it doesn't. It won't read the X. You have to do this longhand. That's why you have to do it. Okay.
Okay, 8x cubed minus 1. We're going to divide it by 2x minus 1 using long division. What do I have to do first? Set it up. Put the x, I mean, 8x cubed minus 1 in the little box. More has to be added to it than just 8x cubed minus 1. Oh, you need to add an x squared. And an x. So I have to put placeholders of 0. So 8x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x minus 1. And you have to divide by 2x minus 1. You have to have placeholders. Holders. Yes, it's always plus. Okay. You have to have placeholders. Keep on putting the squares in. Keep putting the squares in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in the square root, because we're so used to doing that. Okay, how do you get 2x to 8x cubed? 4x squared. 4x squared, so it goes over top of the squared. 4x squared. 4x squared, we multiply? Negative 4x squared. You get it? Wait, negative 8x. I got a question. How do you have a 0x? Because you, gotta because place you have to put a placeholder. Oh, so you're just not going to do nothing with that. Room. Right. Yeah. What? How would you get the 4x squared again? I said, how can I multiply 2x to get to 8x oh, okay. cubed? 4x squared. So then 4x squared times negative 1 is negative 4x squared. Now we subtract. When I subtract 8x cubed and minus 8x cubed, I get 0. When I subtract 0x squared minus negative 4x squared, you get? No. 4x squared. You get 4x squared, positive. Bring it on down. Bring it on back. Multiply. 2x. Uh, 2x, yes. Multiply by 2x. 2x times 2x, stop. Call me, Calvin. Negative 2x. No, it's 4x. No, it's 4x squared. Do you not, you're not going to multiply by negative Oh, no, that's <laughs> What? Negative two y. Oh, I couldn't. Wow. It's I always forget this. I just think it. Subtract, they cancel. 0x minus 2x. 2x minus 1. Bring it on down. Bring it on back. What do you have to multiply 2x by to get to 2x? 1. 1. So I multiply by 1, and I get 2x minus 1. Subtract and you get zero. Once zero. again, no remainder, so that's nice. Oh yeah. What do you do if you have one? Four x squared plus two x plus one. Great question. Miss Peters. No. Miss Peters, what yes. do you do if you have a remainder? If you have a remainder, you just put it over top of what this is. So like, if the remainder was six, I would say plus six over two x minus one. Oh, so your answer would be four x squared plus two x plus one. Plus six over two x. Yeah. Okay. Can we just put R six? No, no because that's not how remainders work with long division. Because it's a polynomial function. Yes. Uh -oh. <laughs> what? Bless you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It just got stuck. Okay. Okay, what? Okay, what? Do you just put like a positive three thing right there and like just list it out and like put like a. Yeah, I agree. Nothing just. We're doing long division still. Not synthetic. But when we get to synthetic, one Wednesday, yes. I do not have to do that. X cubed minus 2x squared. X cubed minus 2x squared. Minus 9. No. Plus 0x minus 9. It's not a thing you can do. Bye bye. X minus 3. How do you get x to x squared, or er, to x cubed, this should say? x squared. x squared. x squared times x is? x cubed. x squared times negative 3? Minus 3x squared. And then I'm going to subtract. So that gives you x That gives you 0. That gives you positive x squared. Bring it on down. 0. Bring it on back. How do you get x to x squared? x. x. Good. So I get x squared minus 3x, yes? Yes. You get positive 3x. Subtract, well, yeah. nothing. Subtract, subtract. That's positive 3x. Bring it on down. Bring it on back. 3. three. You want to say that once you get right. that back on. And you get 3x yeah. minus 9. Zero. And we subtract, and we have no Settle. remainder. Beautiful. I think we can just stop here. No, we do one more. Uh, this one's going to have a remainder. Are you sure? I don't know. No, it's just, like it has a four. How much you want to put on? Okay, what do you have to do to this before I can solve it? Put it in standard form. Put it in standard form.
two x. No, I'm not going to say what it is. Plus three x minus five x squared plus three x. Why did I say that? We can't say that. Y'all got to fight now. Okay, now divided by two x cubed minus three. Yes? Two x minus three. How do I get two x to two x to the fourth? X cubed. No, x cubed. X cubed. X cubed. So you get two x to the fourth. X to the fourth. Minus three x cubed. Minus three x cubed. Subtract. Cancels. Seven x cubed. Bring it on down. Bring it on back. Divide. How do you get two x to seven x? Huge. Three and a half x to the second. Three and a half x squared. Bring it on back. How do you get that? 3x cubed squared. 3x squared. You don't get no 7. No, 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 no. No 7. No 7. No, no, no. No 7. Oh, one point five. No 7. No 7. No 7. No 7. What did you say? I said 3 and a half x squared. Three and a half x squared. Yeah. 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 You get seven, so three and a half. Would you leave it in fraction, or would you put it in decimal? It doesn't matter. You can do whatever, whichever one's easier for you. But then they could do a decimal from then on out. But if you have a fraction, it was Oh yeah. You do a fraction from then on out. Oh true. <laughs> okay, so three point five gives you seven x cubed. Yes. And then it gives you negative uh eleven. So 10.5. They get 10.5. And then you subtract, yes? And then this is going to give you a positive 15.5 x squared. Bring this down, right? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's a negative 5. Oh, that's a negative 5. You're right. 5.5 x squared plus 3x. So how do you get... You know that what's he talking about? 2.75. This one's tricky. Yeah. 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 Ye